Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now today I'm in Manchester in a townhouse garden that I've redesigned. Now I'm just going to show you the garden before the work started and you'll see that it's really badly overlooked. There's some wayward trees, it's dark, there's nowhere really to sit and it's not very appealing. But I've redesigned this garden to increase the privacy and to give different seating configurations for different times of the day. So the plants have just arrived, I've just got them off the lorry now and I'm going to be laying them out and walking you through this one. So there's still quite a lot to do but I'm going to be doing this video in phases so that you can see the progress as we go along. So come on, let's get cracking. So I'm starting to get the plants in now and the structure's really coming together. So you'll see in the background there, da -da -da, we've got a gladitia tree that's going to give some nice canopy shading without blocking out too much light or annoying anyone. We've also got the Garia elliptica at the back there which is a wall shrub slash tree, a bit of a strange one, but over time it will weave its way along those fence panels because I'm going to put wire runners on. We've also got Tracleospernum, which is evergreen jasmine, but it's its own species, it's not actually a jasmine. And again, I'm going to unwrap those and wind them across the fence panels so it can become almost like a green wall. But it's throwing it down as usual in Manchester, so I'm going to crack on and keep you updated on the progress. plant choice in this garden is crucial and that's to help bring privacy because there are so many overlooked windows here it's near impossible to just block them all out with fences and it's bad design practice but what I've done is I've chosen plants such as the Fatsia behind me and the Choisia just here which will grow considerably and when you sat on these benches at different parts of the garden you're going to feel really nestled because there's loads of shrubs and herbaceous growth here that's going to rock it up in summer and make you feel like you're all on your own but in reality you know you've got probably like 10 or 12 neighbours but by doing that you can get a real feeling of peace and calm in the city garden. So we've got this living wall that's starting behind me with the Tracleospernum jasminoides, which is evergreen jasmine. So over time that will colonise that entire back wall. We've got the garia behind me there, if you can see, which is a wall shrub which will grow quite tall and give these tassels in the winter, again providing interest in the darker months. So no matter what season it is in this garden, as we look round, there'll be something of interest, whether you're sat on a bench here, over there, or you're in the house looking out. And that was a real purpose, to give a garden that had seasons of interest that helped block off some of these offending views. So we've got a mix here behind me of evergreen shrubs, such as the Fatsia japonica spider's web, which has a variegated leaf, and a mix of other herbaceous perennials. So it will continue giving interest throughout the seasons of the year. So we've got the evergreen shrubs which will be there as structure and then the herbaceous that comes up from spring all the way through to autumn giving different bursts of colour. Now these are scaffold board benches and they've been designed to give a really rustic look to the garden. Now the owner's probably going to sand these and stain these and make them look a bit older which will be really nice and they blend really well with the herringbone brick on the floor which are all reclaimed and the brick planters. So we've got quite an industrial feel here but it's softened by all the planting and the underbench planting which you can see there, though it's going a bit dark now, will really soften the edges and give loads of texture to the garden. Now as we walk into this garden I've carried the design on down the side of the house so we've got the herringbone that keeps going all the way around We've got the evergreen jasmine here that's going to colonise this wall so it brings the feeling and that design all the way around giving it consistency whereas if you were to use say flags or a different material it would break the flow of the garden so it's always worthwhile considering trying to pull the design through the garden as consistently as possible. autumn now in this garden and I'm going to return next summer to show you how it's progressed. 
If you've liked this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for plenty more garden design hints, tips and hacks. Or leave a comment to ask me, the Garden Ninja, any garden question that you might have yourself. I've been Garden Ninja, happy gardening.